Again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. Today we're in the letter to the Philippians, Philippians chapter 2, verse 4. Paul writes, Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. Now that seems like kind of uh, some obvious advice. A good person in general would be somebody who is not just thinking about themselves all the time, but actually looking out for other people. But Paul is giving this instructions to Christians um, within the larger context of saying our model that we are seeking to emulate is Jesus. Jesus obviously didn't just come on a mission to uh, be worshipped and what can he get out of his experience as a human, uh, but he came not to, as, as Jesus himself said, he came not to be served, but to serve and lay down his life. Our example is Jesus doing that. And so, at the very least, the first step towards being more of that type of a self-sacrificing person is not just focusing on yourself, but think about other people. What are they interested in? What are the things that they have need? Um, because, you know, it's not, you know, it says, don't look out only for your own interests. That's not just your own things you're interested in, but it's the things that you need, the things that are going to be to your advantage. But look out for other people. Every day we have an opportunity. If we open our eyes and open our heart and listen to the nudgings of the Holy Spirit, drawing us to those needs that are around us. Who are you going to encounter today? Who are you, um, who are you aware of who could use some help or use some encouragement? Big or small, our goal is to be that kind of person caring for other people, not just for ourselves. Yeah, of course we have to care for ourselves, but it's not just that. We're called to something greater than just the natural tendency to focus on ourselves as number one. Follow the example of Jesus, and that can be in big or small ways. Let's pray. God, we need your help. We need your help, your presence to get us out of our normal, average, default position and attitude in life where we just think about ourselves. We just go, what's in my best interest? What's the thing that's going to make me happy? What's going to take care of me? Instead, we want to follow your example and to be about how you want to use us to help others. So God, the big key here is that we need your help to identify, to bring to our mind, to open our eyes, to see what we wouldn't normally see, and then to act. Big or small ways, it doesn't have to be huge, but it's a pattern that we need to establish following your example. Thank you in advance for how you're going to open up opportunities and bring to our mind those people and the ways that we can be of encouragement and help to somebody else because of our love for you, to love them in Jesus' name. And we ask this in your name. Amen. So once again in Philippians chapter 2, verse 4, don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. God bless you as you start this daily adventure of looking, how, who's God bringing into my life? What are those things that I can do in his honor to help others? Take care and have a good one.